This is my brethren, this is the works that he's do. You know, some great works. So you're gonna hear from him. He's gonna tell you how, you know, he come about. You know, doing these works. You know, the patience and the faith and the amount of gratitude it take to reach this standard. How many years he has been doing this. So, my brother, you could explain to the people, you know, how you come about doing this great art and craft? Well, I was like about 14 years old, living in Escribo, the countryside. Actually finished community high school and have nothing much to do. There wasn't any job either, proper job. So I met this guy, Ernest Van Dyke. This is the first time I got to see um, some wood craft. And I get to like it. I like it so much. Let's start trying, you know, trying, 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 trying. It took me a little while to perfect, you know, perfect myself into this work. I met Lenoir too. He's a lot of good artists in this country here, Gary Thomas, all of them. Gary's outside, you know. And a little inspiration, you know, as you could see. You go around them, you see they do their work, you get some idea, you put yours together, you know, and it keeps giving me the courage. The courage, yeah, the courage to keep working. So, so it wasn't a school, it wasn't a school. It was no school. It was some it was students natural, that. It was natural, natural, natural. It was like natural. Yeah. It was natural. I, I wasn't really accepted either. I, the rest, when they choose, choose about three, Tall strapping friends of mine that could, you know, sun could do anything, you know, and the sturdy. Yeah, I was like one that, you know, he didn't really appreciate because, like, he didn't see anything out of me. You yeah, understand? Wow. And the rest, they don't carve like me anymore. His eyes, the only man holding from since then, although I was in the you know, the wayside, I was like an outcast, like outcast. They, want them that they don't really appreciate, you know. So it's like the stone that they build, they refuse become the head yeah, kind of stone yeah, in this man. 2022. Yeah, so man. right now you could tell this story and right you could now, share. I'm the only one out of all the rest of them that's still carving. Still carving and still doing carving. such a great work, great as you work. can see, yeah, you know, as you can see. So even though that. You, you was the one that, you know, he never used to pay much attention and try to cast out. You know, what still give you the courage to continue because sometimes these things could play with your mind, frustration, the love, you know. The love, all I was, all I wasn't close to the workbench. Yes. Where the work is and where the men standing. From the distance I was allowed to stand and sit. Yes. I couldn't remember I ain't getting paid. So I can't come and work. Oh. So I have to just come around and I, could, and I can't waste the men time. I can't come and disturb the men that work in. So I gotta stand off a little. And to stand off, I find that I like this work so bad. I love this work. You understand from the distance. And the love for the work. And the love for the work is what yeah. bring me more close to it. Oh, more close to it. Yes, not the money. Not the never money. the money. When I left Pesco, when I came to town, I had about 15 pieces. 15 I, didn't, I didn't sell nothing. Wow. Wow. So, when you leave Essequibo, mm -hmm. what was your intention leaving Essequibo coming to town? Seems that he, mm -hmm. you know, you know, you was the one that they never pay much attention and you come into town. What was your intention coming to town, really? Well, in town you can get a market really, you know, in town is where the market is. He, he does his work here in a school, but he bring it to town uh, and sell it, you know the way? And from coming to town, you get recognized. You get recognized. 
get up. I was 21 when I was in Cuba. Oh, you was 21. Mm -hmm. Okay. From 19 to 21. 19, From 19 to 21. 20, 21, then we go to Caracas and we spend a year. This is how come I stay away, four year, five year from Ghana. Oh. So when you come back, you end up in Georgetown. That's Georgetown. the capital. Yeah. That's where you find you're going to be doing your stuff and right. making your money because as you say, the person that you used to work for, most of his item, most of his craft always come into town. So yeah, it was it a better for him. It wasn't working for him. It wasn't working. Oh, you wasn't working for him, but okay, but most of his craft used to come into town so, where you're gonna yeah. get the money. Where yeah, he's gonna get his money right. and come back and pay those guys well, right. that are standing, but I know really need a job right i glad if i was one of the same guys them that he choose yes that could have in a script there's no job much there's job. No. okay you understand so i'm I glad if i was one of the chosen ones them that could have sun for him and give me a money oh but you wasn't that and one. those guys are my friends <laughs> they get invited and i get excluded you right. understand but at what any time do do they say anything to him to you know let you be a part of the team I don't know if they could have ever said Say anything. Any, okay. So, okay, so you reach the town now. And from then to now, you do no wrong because I can tell you, with the works that I see you have done, it's tremendous. It's work that, you know, it's... I don't know if you have words to say because it's just perfect. It's just great. You see what I'm saying? As people, you can see the works alone. You can look, if, if you look. You know, just look at the work from then to now. He show you and he tell you. You see, this is a pork knuckle. One piece of wood. And this is one piece of wood. So explain to me what's going on here. This is a man, uh, we will say, going to the working group. Yes. He's going to do his pork knuckle work. He's yes. going to dig. He has all his tools. He has cutlass. He has the, the, um, the we call it criminal handle. That's the criminal like a shovel, handle. Shovel handle. Shovel like. handle. The criminal handle. Okay. You know, you walk with all that. You got the criminal. You got the bottle. You got the karahi, where you call a frying pan. You got the um, rice pot. Okay. You got the tea pan. Yes. You can see the tea, the kettle, or the whatever you would call it is yes. here. With okay. This. And then you have a little kitchen knife, knife. all in one. Oh, so. Wow. You know, the, 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 the tampolin is here at the top. Yes. Tampolin is the top, roll up, roll up. This is the bottle again. The bottle. And in the, in the, in the, um, the washi, uh -huh. there is food, there is ration in there as well. There. So he's going on a one day journey he's with everything. On a one day journey. With, with his pot, just in case if night catch him, right he can survive stay. right there. Right there. Stay. Wow. And how long does it take you to, you know, to complete or uh, to well, reach to this stage to this stage is about two weeks two weeks yeah you can hold this in your hand so just give me some rundown what we have here here now well this is a man sitting on a drum you yes. see sitting on a drum there and he's beating the drum there the drum there yes. okay okay so he's sitting on the drum and this yeah. is where he hitting the drum yeah this is the front of the drum here oh wow so, so people across the diaspora are going to look in at this video and they would like to make contact with you you know how can they make contact with you you have a number that they can call and let them know you what you can make from what you can make but to me you can make anything yeah as long as you have a photograph i'll try anything anything as long as you have an idea or you want me to create an idea you know yeah anything 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 so how what, what do you have a number that they can call uh they say 592 is the code yes 617 1443 that's my number give them it one more time uh 592 617 1443 and ask for uh terence sandy Ford. terence sandy Ford. Well, people, so as you can see, you know, I'm here with Terrence Sandy Ford. And as I tell you, people, trust me, but I call him Shark Man. I know him for many years and I have great respect because you see these arts that you see in here, 
it come with a lot of patience a lot of faith a lot of time and not anyone can do these work because trust me looking at these work it calls for a lot of patience it calls for a lot of focus it calls for a lot of mind stability so you have to know what you're doing so give give shark man the support he just give his number i'm gonna put his number below this video so you guys can call him you know call him and just as you can see you know you have chairs these chairs is everlasting these chairs is never done you know no nail no giant just carve just carve as you can see you know it's how big is the legs so all this is the art that this brethren can do all these here you see all this is the art No, this is the next one here too. This is a small one. So tell me something. Um, how long gonna take you for these chairs? One chair? Yeah, like one chair. All depends on the size. Let me say like this one here. The chain, sir. Is it like a day, work two day, three day? Five minutes flat. Okay. The flat. You cut the chain, sir. You cut the mark up. You cut out the seat. You cut out the back. You cut all the sides, you knock out that whole block because you cut all four sides. Okay. You knock it out so you can get a seat to sit down in. Same thing you do the bottom, you mark the bottom, you cut the legs too. Yeah. You take out two legs, two straight legs. This is don't cut in between here yet. It's cut straight, straight, straight here, uh -huh. straight out. And then when you finish, you cut the middle here, you cut the middle here. So how you gonna know where's the leg? Is you got you got your, your dry it you out see first? In your mind, everything is in your mind. Everything you see, the, the, the wood gotta suit what in your mind. If it's suit what in your mind, you can and you do start it. it uh -huh. You can fail, or you can either make a seat where you can sit down in. This is when you fail. But if you see the wood and you certain that the wood broad enough, and they gonna give you four legs, mm -hmm. and they give you a big buck that a a uh, normal person, size person can fit in. Inside. You know, well, you've started. You understand? You can't start this work here if you're in certain that it okay. fit. But how much pounds this chair could take off? How much pounds? Yeah. This chair would take off. Man, you don't have, man. You see, you see me, you. Then you could sit down in it one time. You say, you say, can break. This can yeah. break, okay. Yeah, people, so as you can see, the man yeah. with the work sitting it so they can see, see? So this is the man now that doing all these stuffs. Each and everything that you see, you know? And he was explaining to you about the chairs. So he was saying, how much, how much years guaranteeing with these chairs? These chairs here is like a lifetime. It's like a lifetime. Unless you care this and you damage it, put it in the sun, left it outside in the sun as long as it's in your house, it's a lifetime. It's a lifetime. It's a lifetime. People, <laughs> I have to it's tell you. Mahogany wood. Mahogany. What's the name of the, the Mahogany. wood? Mahogany. Mahogany wood. Yeah. So, what advice you would give a child or a person who would like to get into this craft work? You have to love it. Just you have a to love find it. a love for it. You find a love for it, not for the money. If it's coming for the money, he isn't going to find the love. You know the way? He has to find the love for it, and when you find the love, out of that money gonna come. Out of More that money gonna yeah. come that he ain't gonna, he ain't, anything you need, you could go and get it. You could okay. afford to go and get it. You know the way there? Yeah. You, could, you could sit down and you could walk one piece coming to you all the time, it's in you all the time. Sometimes work came, first came to me, mm -hmm. it catch me. This work? This work, it catch me so bad that I just want to be a part of it. You just want to be, and that was the love? And people see me hiding away in a house, they see me cooking. I was cooking night time late. Why is cooking night time late? Why I used to cook night time late? I still cook night time late now, still. But why it starts with me is that I just chip the wood in the house in the day. Uh -huh. I just be chipping, chipping, chipping. 
of this countryside, you know. So and that's execrable, right? Execrable. Yes. So when you get it chipping now, you can put it outside and you can light a fire. Cause it's chip chipping. You working all the time. You working all the time. Night time now. You ready? You eat night time. You cook night time. You eat night time because remember now it's countryside and you got electric lights and these things. So the daylight so precious, so precious, so valuable. If when you rise up in the morning, five o'clock, mm -hmm. you just want to go to the wood pick time, and you ain't getting up from the wood until you can't see much. So I have one to ask you a question. So many of times you doing this for hours without eating. Without eating, it just make you feel like you don't want to eat, you don't want to mess, you don't want to get up, you don't want to take your eyes. Just as I tell you, if you take your eyes from off of it, open something else, you ain't gonna be there when you come back. You understand? So, yeah. whatever you see in the wood, just be laughing to yourself. You see in a natural wood, you laughing to yourself. You see in the man in there, you see him riding a horse or whatever you could you think see about it. in art. You see it in there and you could tell people and they would say, man, look, this man, man, because I see it, it's a piece of wood. You know what I mean? But the man, let see this thing through the wood and you see it could fit and you see it could bring it out and he's fighting hard to bring it out. You want that, that vision? Boogie. Yeah. And left your half. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Because you want to see uh, your, uh, your work at the your, end. They just keep the project. Right there. I could say, I could say, no, I, I got to go to town. And I go and I sit down, down. This is for knock the car off and it's right there. Left. Yeah. Right there, I left. All day, right there, I left. Till I make a decision, I said, you take them off of me, man. You understand? Because I just happened up in a, in a once and I buy young guy in town. Buy young guy in town, but you don't get to know. So my question to you, doing work like this, you don't have a much friends because you find more time home doing? That is it. And most of my friends is friends that on this work. You know, they like to come for a piece of wood. I still just give strength because I like seeing artists like myself, you know, holding it. The Asian artists, them, who I know from long, since mm -hmm. I started working, you know, doing art, come to town, and since I come to town, I started doing realistic work. Realistic work? Yes, so, I get forward early, you know, go to all them stores and watch them nice realistic work that people did before, and, you know, I try to take part and learn something from it, learn something until I create my own thing. Yeah. Start working. Yeah. So we can do for me just, Give back people your contact number one more time. Well, you know. the contact number in case with anyone your name. wants anything, you know, have an idea and they want to share it with me. My contact number is um, 617-1443. And the, um, I think the, the code, the area code is 592 because yes, people can call.